Hello YouTube land! This is Metroid 0925 and yes, I am recording something. My god, it's a miracle. Anyway, um, just wanted to let you guys know, you know, I actually... A friend of mine, Matt, go, you know... He, he doesn't do videos on his own channel, but if you want to, you can go check out, uh... His, um... He does a channel with some friends and stuff, uh, Planes of Gaming, if you've heard of him, go check him out. But a friend, Matt, he's one of the members of him, he... A good friend of mine, he sent me this pack with, uh, Camtasia, wraps, a bunch of other stuff in it, it's really cool. And, um, yeah. So I'm gonna try and give this recording deal a whole shot again. See if I can get anything good out of it. So yeah, I welcome you all to... Let's hope we can let's play within a deep forest. You know, let's hope. <laughs> but let's play within a deep forest. This is a really great game made by, um... What's his name? Nicholas, right? Yeah. Nicholas Nigrin. Nigrin. Nigrin? Nigrin. Nicholas. Really cool guy. He does a lot of good games. Start a new game. I'll be quiet now. The year is 2500. The whole world is in ruins. Only a small number of people have survived the war, one of which the infamous and notorious Dr. Cliché. The time machine that he has built has enabled him to travel many hundred years back in time. Here, he has been able to complete his most dastardly deed, the building of an underwater laboratory, inside of which he has placed the most powerful bomb the world has yet known. His first attempt failed, and instead led to the creation of a ball, although no ordinary ball. If ever this bomb should explode, the entire planet will freeze and all life will be lost. In this way, Dr. Cliché aims to eliminate beyond all reckoning the possibility of such a future ever coming to pass. Where Dr. Cliché is to be found exactly at present, nobody knows. But rumor has it that the bomb is activated. The world lies in grave danger. That is, unless... Unless a ball can save the world. Alrighty then. Yeah, so we are a little ball, and we have to save the world. So first off, let's go to the Harara Mountains. We got a uh, little tell you. This is practically you can move the bar on the left to right arrow keys. By the way, you want to go left first. Okay, we kind of force you to go left first, but whatever. To bounce the ball higher into the air, hold the S key. Yep, the S key is bounce. Then you move carefully, yada yada yada. Pretty much they're just saying, you know, you gotta kinda think about it a bit, and not just go completely willy nilly. Yep, and here with the wind, you can like use the up and down arrow keys to kinda get some momentum going. Yep. A key! You'll be going like this, and then you'll normally just kinda slow down a bit. If you hold down the A key, then you will go like this. Yeah. And then just, you know, useful practice, do that. Sorry, I just scratched my nose. Safe point. Water. Kills you. So yeah. Water, it's a deadly thing. Remember that. Comes a game aspect. Oh, and if you're curious, all these guys are... F this is like the beginning screen of Nits. Nit is another game by Nicholas, and this little guy is who you play as, who I'm going by right now, and he gets kidnapped by, um, an alien, pretty much. It's a good game, I suggest you go check it out. Anyway, continuing on. Down the hole. No, don't make a dirty joke. You can press start, or spacebar, start. <laughs> yes, because there's totally a start button. Press spacebar. And you'll go back to the last save point you were at. So yeah. And then we go up here, follow along here. Yada yada yada. This is just a tutorial. I've done this a million times. Sorry if I'm rushing. And this is the end. So yeah. Hop in here and go back out. Not much to it really. It's just a simple little tutorial level. They force you to do it, which I suppose in a way is nice, but. I think if you know what you're doing, they should be able to play it, skip it. And yeah, F1 is to enter and exit full screen. I'm doing it in windowed mode. 
it's best to play it in full screen just because of the way it looks, you know, it looks much better. But you know, whatever. Save game. And we're doing this in hard mode. It, it's not that it's like more enemies, take more damage, no, there's no damage or anything. Really what it is is the only difference between hard mode and regular. Excuse me, Michelle. <coughs> Sorry about that. Is um hard mode, the physics are a tiny bit different. But yeah, we're gonna go to Pinewood Heights now. Welcome to Pinewood Heights, Western side. And there's the menu there, you can go in and save and stuff there. That was that menu we were in before. Alright. And what have we here? Alright. Physics. Physics. Okay, physics aren't working with me. Ooh, what's this? Ah! I wonder what happens if I'm in that! I die. Okay, note to self, don't go in creepy light machine. Do not touch light machine. There it goes in my notes. Continuing onwards. Can't do anything about that yet. Yeah, so I mean, I know a lot of you are probably... I'm just gonna go on a bit of a rant here. There's not much to explain about this game, it's pretty straightforward. Go forward, not much kills you, fire kills you, yada yada yada. And this dog in here will talk to you. Hi, I'm your guide to everything you find inside this forest. If you want to know more, hit the down arrow key. No matter the problem, the answer is almost always to use another ball material, never forget that. So again, no matter what, use another ball. Always turn to the practice area with every new material. I never do that. There's only one time I do it because there's something you need to get in there. You don't need to get it. It's an extra thing, but it's kind of cool. Uh, remember what to do when someone offers you the power. Step into light. Press enter. If you need to get back to the forest, just hit escape. At least it works out in some places. King Arak Mistis lives in the far side of Elune Lake. He can teach you how to fly. The problem is there's a big dragon guarding the lake, so you might as well forget about that. Just forget I said anything. It can sometimes be useful to remember who gave you a new power. Not really that much. Lasers can damage a lot of things, but not something you can see through. Pretty much this info is a lot of stuff that you know you might want to know later on because it gives you little hints about the game. The whole thing about the uh, what's his face there. Uh, the tiger on the eastern side of the Pinewood Heights believes that by eating another creature it gets its power, but what if the creature doesn't have any powers? Uh, time machine to the west of here should not use anything other than a cold ball in it. Hey, maybe that was that thing that killed us. Uh, now I shoot everything I know with your intelligence. Uh, yep, yep, yep. That's nice. Um, what's down here again? Oh, no, I don't want to go this way. I can't actually get very far that way, and I really should not be wearing these headphones. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm just gonna go on a bit of a rant here. Not really a rant, so much just a little uh, thing to talk about, because I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit. Turn down the volume a bit there. <clears throat> ah. But pretty much, I know a lot of you are probably saying, Ooh, where have you been? Pretty much, if you haven't already heard, or because I mean I'm friends with like, quite a few of my subscribers, um, pretty much my old computer, the netbook, got a virus, which essentially took Windows and said boot it and kicked Windows out of my computer. I'm now on a new computer, it's not that amazing, but it works, and as I said earlier, a friend of mine, Matt, sent me this thing with all sorts of new stuff in it, so it's really cool and all. So yeah, if you keep going to the right there, you get a dragon, that's not fun. He eats you. And we get the pink ball! Ow. And down we go. Down we go. So yeah, we got the pink ball from a porcupine. Nice. Save game. <coughs> what, for like, what, ten minutes now? Okay. Time with heights. And a pink ball. But yeah, um, you know, I had that, I got this computer, I had to clear out a lot of junk. Uh, you really think you shouldn't climb these pillars right now? Mister, I should save for later, it's quite hard. No, I'm doing it now. Even though it is really hard. Oh, crap. Especially on hard mode. Bizax! Yes, did it first try. 
we were in that hover thing. No. This way. I really should have taken the blue ball. Ow. You gotta take the blue ball. Because, yeah. It's easier to control. But, uh, yeah. You know, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I've been really busy actually with school and stuff, but I mean everyone is. And um just a lot of stuff going you know, on. Nothing serious really, it's just, you know, regular old stuff. But um yeah. You know, it's nice to be getting back to the videos and everything. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about zero mission. Because I don't still have the save file for that. I would have to get that save file back. I probably will later. Or I'll just get back up to that point, which would probably be the easier way to do it. Sorry about that, had to cough. Yeah, I'll just muted the mic real quick. But yeah. Well, uh, you know, I finally got some stuff to record. I'm happy now, you know. Gonna see how this all works out. Hope it doesn't get out of sync or too much. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have, have a couple games I want to do. You know, hoping all this stuff works out. And yeah, sorry, I was just concentrating there. <laughs> No! Bugger. <laughs> Wanna call off for a second? One second. Sorry about that. I've got this nasty cough. I got something stuck in my throat. Aw. Oh. I've got something cut stuck in my throat for the past like half hour. It's been really bothering me. And yeah, I mean, I just. There's a couple games I want to do. Yeah, I mean, I think this school year is going to be, uh, calming down just a tad bit, you know. I mean, yes, I have some big tests and stuff coming up, and, I mean, but those aren't really that hard. It's not like there's anything amazingly awesome going on. And, yeah. So I think I'll have a bit more free time. Um, you know, just take, like, 20, 30 minutes out of my... You know, my daily Skype calls and stuff, and take some time to record. Put up some videos after so long. And hey, I might, if YouTube is nice, I may be able to get them in high def. So yeah. Because I am using Camtasia, so. I might, just might, be able to get these videos in high def. So look forward to that, possibly. Yeah, scritchy, scratchy, scritchy, scratchy, scritchy, scratchy, enter. Uh, fast, jumps high, escape. There we go. We now have ball number four. The, uh, really bouncy ball that sounds like a drum. Boing. Boing. You know, what it is, is in... I just realized this. In hard mode, they have more momentum than what it is. Uh, you know... I think I can get one more ball, and I might not be able to. Uh, I'll see how far I can get. Because I'm only up to 15, I'll see how far I can get. Let's go! No, no! Don't eat me! Don't eat me. That's the tiger who thinks he can get the powers of things. So now the tiger can jump really highly. Into crystalline, I think it is. Crystalline. There we go. Crystalline. <clears throat> you don't have to come in here, I think. But it's the way through that I've always taken. And if the freaking pink ball could control itself. You can stuck region the tower at the western side of Pinewood Heights. The spider is important, but to get there, you must. Yeah. 
So this takes us back over to the western side. Uh, oh no, nope, I'm still on the eastern side. No, not escape. Uh, space bar. No, 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 no! Stupid tiger! Tigers and ligers and lairs, low lie. Don't do school, stay in drugs, and... No, wait, I, I did it wrong. No, it's... Uh, what was I there? God, I can't even talk. Uh, what am I doing here? No. Don't do vegetables, stay on... Stay in drugs, and eat your school. That's it. <laughs> eat your school. funny, because it's about eating things that aren't supposed to be eaten. And I need to go in here. What am I doing? This rate, I'm never going to make it in time. I know there's no time limit, but I want to keep them. You know, I mean, I don't want these videos to be, like, ages long. That'd be kind of annoying. <clears throat> and also, there's the fact that the longer it is, the longer it takes to process. Oh my god, the processing time some of these videos have had. A couple of my test videos that were, like, just a couple minutes long. My god, the processing. It's the only thing about having videos in higher quality. It takes freaking forever for it to process. But enough of my complaining. No! Lava! Ugh. I hate you, Lava. With a passion. A fiery, burning passion. Oh, the irony that I have a fiery burning passion for fiery burning lava. No, no, no! Bugger! <laughs> oh, that was just stupid. No, no. So you just get more momentum in this in this uh, difficulty. Oh, I see where we are. Hooray! You know, truthfully, I don't think I have enough time to get the next ball. It's just over there, but I mean, I don't want this video to drag on. That'll take me another, like, few minutes, so, yeah. I will... So as soon as I can get out... Oh, come on! Come on, little ball. There we go! Get down there. Anyway, save the game. And everyone, if this video gets up, which I hope it will, probably will. This has been Metroid 0925 with Within a Deep Forest, Part 1. I hope you're all mildly happy that I'm back. If anything, watch the video and enjoy. If anything, that you actually did watch the video and made it this far. Anyway. If you watched this video and stayed with me through the months that I actually didn't update, thank you, and I love you. Anyway, this has been Metroid 0925, with part one of with it, Let's Play with an Forest. Toodles, and I hope you enjoyed.